Aloha, it's 365 Hawaii. With Eric and Julie Z. Melissa, and behind us is Costco. And why are we here? We are here because every single person that comes here on vacation says, our first step to Hawaii is going to Costco. So we thought we'd do a video of the pros and cons of Costco. And uh, there's, there's some of both. I mean, there's some good things and some bad things, but we're gonna kind of go through them and give you some of the, the, the scoop. And we're also going to tell you uh, maybe why you shouldn't everybody come to Costco when you first get to Hawaii. Um, so uh, let's go in and uh, check it out and uh, show you guys the deals, the steals, and the things are not real. Okay, I have to say that the gift cards, all the front, pretty awesome. They're for our local uh, restaurants. Hey, since we also talked to people about moving to Hawaii, one of the things that we wanted to make sure you knew about Costco as well is some of the awesome things that you can get that's going to make your house a home. And one of those things is like TVs and couches and stuff, but we're going to show you around. So part of the video is going to be for people who are visiting and for those who live here. Okay, one thing about Costco that is uh, a, definitely a pro is they have a big selection of TVs. I'd say probably one of the biggest on the island, and they sell a lot of TVs here for doing that. Now, their prices are reasonable, so they do a lot. There's not much competition. Walmart's got a few, but they're, they're about the same price, but they don't have quite the selection. So, thumbs up for the TV selection for Costco. All right, so here we are in the shirt collection and... Pareos, which are like, you know, like uh, fun little beach wraps and uh, they have a big selection and it's only 20 bucks. And these are only $7 and you can get your bathing suit here. So and it's a one-stop shop for going out to the beach here in Kona. And did I say, at least the Hawaiian shirts are local. I can't say the same thing for these Pareos. I got a funny story about Hawaii Costco shirts. Uh, I, was a, uh, I managed a condo association for a while and one of the things is we had to wear Hawaiian shirts. So I came here and I stocked up. I probably had 20 different Hawaiian shirts here. So I still have a phobia of wearing Hawaiian shirts to this day because I had to wear them for year after year after year. But uh, I will say they're comfortable and they're not too, not too shabby. So works out okay. Hey, speaking of local, because you know I like to have people who support local of what's happening here in Hawaii. These rugs are actually designed by Rain Spooner. Um, that design has been along for a long time and they usually design men's tropical shirts but they have gotten into the carpet business. And if you want a tropical carpet and it's only 90 bucks, this Costco has that. I bet there's not happening in very many other places. So um, looking for home goods, that's a good one. <laughs> a sectional. Look at this, for 1400 bucks, you can have your own sectional here if you buy it at Costco. Now, the cool thing about this is that shipping furniture here is very expensive. So if you have left the furniture behind in your old home and you're avoiding that $20,000 container shopping experience, then buying furniture here at Costco isn't that bad. Um, if you're actually even trying to save even more money, because this is like all over the island, a lot of people have this for sale on Craigslist and also in Facebook Marketplace. Uh, but again, um, $1,400 and also the chairs and tables over there are only $700. So uh, a deal and a steal right here. Okay, not only does Costco do a lot of business in their uh, sectionals and couches and outdoor furniture, they're also beds. They have a lot of beds and at a very reasonable price here in Hawaii. So that's definitely a pro for Costco. I, beds, I mean, they literally started like a thousand bucks of a regular bed at a normal store. And here, a lot cheaper. <laughs> Okay, so Costco, as you know, sells a lot of appliances as well. Like here we got a, a, a Samsung washer and they also have uh, ranges and uh, refrigerators, everything like that. Well, uh, the joke around here is that Samsung is not a good reliability product, at least some of their products are, maybe not all of them. But, uh, and then the downfall is there's nobody here to fix it. So it makes it really challenging if you buy something that breaks and then you can't find anybody to fix it. And even if they have a warranty, it doesn't do you much good because then it just, you still gotta go out and fit, get something on. So there you go, interesting tip on appliance. Look, Ma, affordable housing in Hawaii. Your own little tiny house in your own backyard. We also remind you that we sponsor this channel and uh, we uh, do sell real estate on the big island of Hawaii and we help people who are trying to move here and we definitely foster aloha and people taking care of the island when they get here. Right, but and, and our channel is, we have our, our real estate channel, is 365 Hawaii Real Estate Minute. And that's on YouTube, and you can also go to our website at 365hawaiiliving.com and uh, we look forward to connecting with you. Okay, one other thing that everybody seems to do, not everybody, but a lot of people do, they come and they get large parsons of the bottled water here. And we are definitely, we would say this is a definite con 
That is a lot of plastic. And why is it a lot of plastic, Julie? Okay, you guys, when you come here and you drink all this water, the recycling goes nowhere. Hawaii does not have a decent recycling program. So this actually ends up in our landfill. So if you want to help the island, get a Brita filter and use that for the week or two that you're here, and you can save all these bottles from going into the landfill. All, the other thing I'll add to that is that the water in Hawaii is quite good to drink. And most of the time, there's yeah. no problems with it. It's not like Mexico. I got terribly ill in Mexico. But here in Hawaii, no problems. Right. So... Uh, Pick the bottles out, bring your own. You know, even come, come with your own water container and fill that up. Mm -hmm. Try and avoid the plastic. Okay, as you can see, the tire center behind me, and as you know, Costco sells a lot of tires on the mainland. But here in Hawaii, they, uh, the pros are that they are a little bit cheaper than their local competitors, but the downfall is that they don't always have all the tires that they have. And when you have to ship tires from the mainland, it can take a long time to get them in. So you can wait, you know, a month or two to get your tires in. Uh, and the other thing is that the Costco center is always crowded, so trying to get here is in. So, kind of a mixed bag on the Costco tire center here. Okay, we got local little cucumbers here, but one con of uh, Costco is the fact that only 10% of their uh, produce is local. Everything else is shipped in from the mainland. And remember, when it's shipped in from the mainland, it takes at least two weeks to get here. So a lot of the stuff's going bad right by the time you get to using it. So that is a big downfall of Costco. So if you want to eat seafood that's actually, you know, fresh, um, which is, this is actually a pretty good deal. It's $25 for basically sushi grade ahi tuna. And they also have big chunks of ahi. Um, it's $16.99 a pound, which um, in the grocery store, you can get uh, this up to like almost $24 a pound. So this is actually a pretty good deal too here uh, if you like some fish. Um, so when we talk about going to Costco for affordable eating, two examples right here. One, this pumpkin pie, look how big this is, $6. And this is gonna feed our family the whole time my son's here on break. And then look at this, all these croissants, you guys, for $6. You can go pretty nuts on getting some of these things into your cart and eating for days. But the downfall of getting so much food is that if you don't have about seven people eating this, it's going to go stale. As soon as you open up this plastic container and the humidity here in uh, Kona, the um, just the humidity starts to ruin this. Uh, a lot of people say that some of this food you can actually freeze, but some of the stuff is not going to taste the same once you decide to freeze it. Hence, croissants, you have to eat them right away, so bring some friends, or you're uh, throwing half of them away. Okay, as you guys can imagine, big is not always better. No, and uh, Costco does a lot of things well, but it's not the only game in town. And we kind of believe in, you should definitely, let's start with, you should shop local. There's some definitely some lo local places you get. You go to the farmer's market, get some excellent uh, um, produce that's easy to get. And it's, and it's going to last a lot longer than it does here at Costco. Because it was picked really fresh. Uh, and the other thing that we talk about, what, like uh, in Kona here, we've got uh, KTA, which is a, our local grocery store, and they do a good job. Some people say, oh, we're going to go to uh, uh, Safeway, because that is so cool. Well, Safeway is all right, but remember, it has the same problem with Costco, that everything gets shipped in from the mainland. So it tends to be, number one, it's a really expensive store and number two the uh, quality tends to go bad pretty quick yeah and, uh, it looks pretty but uh, you know obviously the, the Safeway experience is gonna be prettier than the KTA local experience but the local experience a lot of the products they have there actually help benefit the people who actually live and work here uh, or Safeway that doesn't usually happen um, but I will say that uh, if you do go to a KTA you're probably going to find more checkers willing to help you because Safeway is a little short on people sometimes <laughs> so you're gonna do your own checkout yeah. of standing a lot of lines so if you do local you're also gonna get people who actually want to work here for so then okay then that goes to the next one so if you don't want can't quite do local you're like okay there's also you know you don't have to go to costco there's also we did we intend to go to target a little more than we go to costco because costco is just so big i mean we don't i mean you saw those you saw those uh uh, uh, uh croissants i mean who needs 12 croissants i mean come on we're a family of four couldn't finish those so uh that's where target comes in they're 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 still kind of on the same level of pricing but you can buy single servings right and that's also very true for condiments right yeah we talk about sometimes when people just do their whole shopping here they get those big ketchups and mustards and mayonnaise where you can get the little ones at uh, Target and you actually aren't throwing so much food away. Okay, so I got I got a story about that. So again, I, I was a resident manager of the condo association. So people will go, hey, we're leaving, Eric. Why don't you come and get all the food we got? I'm all, okay, as long as it's not condiments because everybody goes and they get the three pack, you know, the, the ketchup, the mustard, and the uh, relish. Relish, that's right. And uh, how, in a week, you can't use that much ketchup, you can't use the mustard. After having a couple of those, you're done. I mean, you can only have so much mustard and ketchup in the world.
So that ends up at your house. Yeah. Where people go, oh, I feel bad about or throwing it, it up, away, and they try to leave it. And then it. I end up throwing away yeah, yeah. landfills. Well. And also, for those of us who like to have uh, events, um, I'm going to tell you guys, you can always know when somebody went to Costco and they got you some food for your party, it's going to be the big rounds of uh, <laughs> peeling of shrimp or those muffins that they always serve and everything else. Um, Go a little outside the realm of yeah, Costco food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip, don't, don't, if you're going to a party, don't bring Costco food. You know, make yeah. your own stuff. Don't just bring a pre-made platter. That's just us cool. being our little party yeah. snobs, but uh, there you go. All right, there's your tips and cons and pros all at the same time. The food center, because everybody needs cheap, not good for your food right here behind me. So the good news about this area is the fact that um, people can actually eat relatively affordable, $1.50 for a hot dog. You know, the pizzas here are like not expensive and they're actually very tasty. So a lot of people come here for their party food. Uh, but if you come here, this is a great way to obviously get something to, you have to eat when you're in this area. Um, the food that they actually serve here is food that they are actually working through with Costco. So everything that you can find in Costco is what they use for the food here. Um, and also my son, who's a pizza expert, gives high marks on the Costco pizza because it's consistent. Maybe not the best, but he knows what he's going to get. Same thing with the hot dog. So if you guys have this kind of food in your Costco's, you're probably going to get a lot of the same thing too here. So if you're a visitor or if you actually live here, um, sometimes coming out and getting in Costco wine can actually save you some money. They think they have the case price basically for single bottles. Um, and also they have like, you know, some good ones from Napa. Um, so. The pro is, is that you can, in your rounds of picking up things to go on vacation with or like going to have a party with your friends, nice wine available with a little bit of a discount. Um, cons is the fact that um, most people do come here for the big containers of hard alcohol and they usually don't come for the single bottles of wine, but um, I do. One of the things that we have observed, at least at working in the condo association, is that nobody ever buys a small bottle of alcohol. They always do big on vacation. And the answer is, is it really good for you? Should you really be drinking that much alcohol on vacation? But Costco lets you do it, so I consider that a con. Okay, pro for Costco, of course, is the toilet paper. And I'll always remember the uh, crazy Costco toilet paper fiasco during COVID, right when COVID took, and they sold completely out of toilet paper. Now they've got mounds, look. Look, it's like eight feet tall. You can't go wrong with Costco toilet paper. So if you want a normal size bag of chips in Hawaii, it's usually around $6.50, like this one is for this whole bag. But as soon as you open this, the time clock is ticking in terms of it going stale on you. So unless you have a bunch of people, don't do it. All right. So uh, we are at the end of Costco and uh, we only bought a few things here today. Yeah, it was like this. <laughs> uh, and also just so you guys know too, uh, this is the only Costco on Hawaii Island. So a lot of people from Hilo and actually all points around the whole island come to Costco and shop. So a good time to come is not usually during the weekend. And if you want to get here without the crowds, usually 10 o'clock when it first opens or later in yeah, the Yeah, the morning is definitely time. the place to go for Yeah, midday. Day gets a little hectic over here yeah. but so, um but real quick little yep. tippy tippy that you can actually buy your pizza when you're checking out and then you can just call it in and you can have it ready for you by the time you unload your stuff and you can pick up your pizza like we're gonna do and to all the people who actually saw us in Costco today and said hello <laughs> there was at least five people that's right thank yeah. you aloha <laughs>